Lake County is excited to be receiving more than $14 million of infrastructure funding as part of a recently passed federal bill. This funding will allow us to mitigate flooding, strengthen our emergency operations, replace aging stormwater infrastructure, and expand behavioral health services right here in Lake County. We submitted a number of projects for consideration to our federal delegation. The highlights of what were included in the 2022 Consolidated Appropriations Act are the construction of a new storm sewer to reduce flooding near Naval Station Great Lakes, improving the nearly 100-year-old Sylvan Lake Dam in Long Grove and Hawthorne Woods, the construction of a new Lake County Emergency Operations Center, expanding the physical capacity of the Health Department's Libertyville Mental Health Center, and replacing aging equipment that operates the Des Plaines River Water Reclamation Facility. We want to extend our heartfelt gratitude to Lake County U.S. Representatives Brad Schneider and Lauren Underwood and U.S. Senator Dick Durbin for their dedication and tireless work in advocating for these projects and bringing them to fruition. Building relationships with our legislative partners takes time and effort. We have invested considerable energy over the past three years to develop and expand those relationships with mayors, General Assembly members, and our federal delegation. And during that time, a contingent of Lake County board members and others also traveled to Washington, and we met with 11 different legislative offices on Capitol Hill. We scheduled meetings with our staff and our county's federal partners to discuss all these projects and how their impact will be beneficial to all residents of Lake County. The resulting partnerships with Representative Schneider, Representative Underwood, and Senator Durbin led to the funding we received for major infrastructure. We sincerely thank everyone for the extraordinary work and focused attention on the needs of Lake County now and to the future. And we thank all the federal legislators who voted in support of these projects. Thank you so much.